And we'll give it a little taste here. I'm going to do a little, little bit of the rice in the sauce. But that's how it looks, you know, just a nice thick red gravy. Mm -mm -mm. This is an excellent way to cook beef. Like I said, if you run out of ideas, want something uh, different, there you go. So I figured I'd cook uh, a beef roast today. This is a rump roast. Yeah, I didn't measure it. I mean, I didn't weigh it, but a couple pounds. I cut it in cubes. And I'm just kind of browning it a little bit. And once you get it browned, I'm going to add a little bit of onion. This is a, eh, call it like one medium diced onion. I'm gonna, uh, I think today I'm going to cook this in a red gravy. So pretty simple. Like I said, add your roast, add some onions. I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, bell pepper to it. Yeah, maybe a, a fourth of a cup of bell pepper or so. I didn't really measure it. Add yeah, some minced garlic. Maybe a... Yeah. Let's see how much here. Yeah, maybe a tablespoon or so. Go ahead and add a, one, one little small can. Of, this is the 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. And this is a... Six ounce can of tomato paste, and you could have browned the paste if you wanted to, but I didn't feel like it, so I'm not. And we're gonna fill this one up with water and get most of the uh, the stuff out of it. And there you go. So just one little small can of water, and we're gonna go ahead and let this. We get it all mixed up. Mixed up real well. Scrape down the sides. And I'll see what else to add here. So my gravy is a little too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, one cup of water. And for the seasonings. I'm going to go ahead and add about a, a eighth of a teaspoon of some cayenne pepper. And the rest of it we're going to add. Uh, put in one bay leaf. Always good to have a bay leaf. Put in some granulated garlic. I'm gonna do a uh, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, and also one teaspoon of paprika. And this is not really a spaghetti I'm making. Uh, just basically a, a beef in red gravy is what I'm gonna call it. And uh, also to that, just to give it a little a little something different. We'll go ahead and add uh I'm add about a teaspoon of uh, roux to it as well. This is just some roux I made in the microwave. And we're gonna add that to it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a good little flavor. I'm not gonna add any salt yet to it. I'm gonna just uh, cook this for about 30 minutes or so. And then uh then I'll add a little bit of salt. Actually I'm gonna add a, I am gonna add a little bit of salt right now. I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of salt just to kind of start it. I don't want to add too much. I know that uh, the paste had salt in it. So just get this stirred up, cover it, let it cook about 30 minutes, then I'll give it a taste. See where we at. Okay, so I did add a little bit more onion. So I'd say maybe one whole medium onion. And I did add some more bell pepper, so I'd say probably one uh, half a cup of a diced bell pepper. And just let it simmer. I'm going to check it in about 30 minutes to see if I add any salt to it. And I'm um, going to go ahead and add water as you need. I just had to add maybe a fourth of a cup. I want this pretty thick because I have it over rice. Uh, the bottom is starting to get a little brown on it, so I just add, like I said, a fourth of a cup. And probably been cooking probably for eh, two hours or so. Uh, I checked a little piece a little while ago. And it was still kind of tough. This uh, roast usually takes a while to cook. So let's see what this one here is now. Uh, let's see. I think it's still kind of tough. Doesn't really come apart too easy. We'll give it a little taste and just to see. Mm. It's getting there. 
I did add a little bit of salt and black pepper to it. Like I said, just, you know, far as for that, just to your taste. Um, I'm not going to add any more. That's all I'm adding to it. Just a little salt and black pepper and a little bit of water added to it. And that's about it. I'm going to let this cook probably another 30 minutes or so. Just leave it on low. All right, everything's done. I didn't add any more water other than that about a fourth of a cup earlier. Like I said, if you want it thinner, you can add more water, but I want it mine pretty thick. That way, we, like when you eat spaghetti, when you pull your sauce on the spaghetti and you see all the water run out in your plate, yeah, I don't want that. So that's why I made it kind of thick. And I think the meat's going to be done now. Like I said, it's about maybe uh, two and a half hours. And, you know, it's kind of coming apart now on the fork. So I'm not quite ready to eat yet, but that'll be my lunch today. Very tasty, very good, very simple. But meat, one can, one small can of sauce, uh, one small can of paste, uh, one medium onion, eh, probably half of a bell pepper, maybe a half a cup or so, uh, diced, and uh, some seasonings, a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't know, I'll just call it beef and a red gravy. But it's pretty good. I'm going to have this over some white basmati rice today. And get your favorite rice. I like uh, basmati rice. They say it's healthier for you. So, and get you a big old scoop of that uh, gravy and some meat. I guess say this is a good little way to cook beef. If you run out of ideas to, you know, smothered beef, stewed beef. This is uh, beef and red gravy. So. <laughs> Uh, you can come up with a coon ass name for it too, which is a, uh, I guess you can call it beef coupillon or beef, beef sauce picon, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, just beef and red gravy. Good stuff. Easy to make. And we'll give it a little taste here. I'm going to just do a little, little bit of the rice and the sauce. But that's how it looks, you know, just a nice thick red gravy. Mm -mm -mm. this is an excellent way to cook beef like I said if you run out of ideas want something uh, different there you go and uh, when you first start it you can brown the uh, the uh, paste a little bit with the meat and the onions and the bell pepper before you add the uh, the sauce and the water to it but I didn't feel like it if, if, if you would brown the paste it would be a little bit darker but uh, I, I did add a little bit of that roux to it and it kind of you know that's why it's not so so red but uh yeah it's good i, I love cooking a beef, a beef roast this way well thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button thanks